Hello, friends. Excellent day. Here we are on Friday. We're going to do Genesis 18, but we got to wait for some folks to get here. Those Facebook notifications are always a little slow. Wow. Somebody redid, um, redid the... Um, Facebook page. It's black. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, we will be starting in just a second. Hey, Cindy. Good to see you. Linda Kimmel, the Lord be with you. Genesis 18. Oh, it's going to be very, very fun today. Remember that you will have um, the great and mighty Goodman on Monday. Um, I will be, um, uh, I'll be with you, uh, in spirit, but I'll join you again on Tuesday. Um, I'm super excited about this. I'm super excited for you to have him. He's a great, great teacher. All right. So gathering a few folks. Um, uh, yes, some more cutting edge theology, sir, but not so much today. Today we'll be smoking. Oh, uh, uh, well, at least Sodom might. I grace the Lord be with you. And Thor put himself under the Mets blankie. Hi, Gail. The Lord be with you. Pat, good to see you. Just about to get rolling. We'll wait another minute. Remember, this is a discussion. We're having a discussion. Uh, that means that you can chime in at any time um, in order to um, in order to participate. Feel free to jump in at any time. All right. We left everybody circumcised. So I'm going to cut to the chase. See what I did there? And we're going to um and we're going to start 18. Will the new merch be available soon? Um I'm going to have to ask ask the um uh HT folks that I do be, I do declare says Michael uh, Scott in his Southern accent, uh, that the merch will be available soon. All right. Um, the Lord uh, showed himself uh, to Abram, that's him, by the Oaks of Mamre as he sat at the door, uh, at the opening of his tent in the heat of the day. The opening. Um, he lifted up his eyes and and uh, saw, behold, uh, three men standing in front of him. And, and when he saw them, he ran from... <laughs> uh, I learned the, uh, the Hebrew word for running today. He ran from them... Um, to meet them and bowed himself to the earth. So, um, okay. The ancient world, in fact, every culture has, um, hey, Brenda, good to see you. Every culture has, um, and, and the church more than all of them, just certain things that have to do with visitors. Um, the church is the most uh, visitor-friendly um, religion. Strangers are treated with um, love and care in the church. Um, they're, they're respected and loved. So, um, what, I, what I love is that you... Um, 
what I what I would what I would say is look at look at the way the church and Luther echoes this. Look at the way the church treats visitors or or strangers. If they ask you to go a um, a mile, you go two. If they ask for your tunic, you give them a cloak as well, um, and the like. So so there's already you can see it in Christianity, the love that be and, and Hebrews says to be kind to strangers because you never know when you'll actually be dealing with an angel of God in disguise. Um, here's uh, here's Cyril. What strange thing do we announce in saying that God was made man when you Jews yourselves say that Abraham received the Lord as a guest? He is three men, one of whom is is God, and the other two who are angels. Um, uh, the reason why we know that the other two are angels is they go on their way afterwards, and the Lord, um, and we have that the Lord appeared to Hi Judy, the Lord appeared to Abram. So why we have a problem with God taking on flesh, but don't have a problem with this section of Genesis. Um, is a real problem for those who have a problem with God becoming man. Um, we shouldn't. Because here is God visiting Abraham. And there are two angels with him. And, and and Abraham jumps into action. In fact, all of this should be read as if Abraham was out of breath. Um, he, he's running here. He's running there. He's running everywhere. Uh, Lord, if, if, if I found favor in your sight, uh, don't pass from your servant. So so stay stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. And 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 you have this also at Emmaus, where they beg they beg stranger. Stranger Jesus to stick around. Um, so Abram, does he recognize that they're God? They're God's uh, two. One of them's God. I don't know. But but he jumps to it like it is God. Let water be brought. Wash your feet. Rest yourselves under a tree. And that for an for for an Israelite, you know. Look, hi Bobby Joe. Um, Can you beat in the ancient world being under a tree? Can you beat it? Shade, rest from the heat. If it were to rain, cover. Um, I'm getting back. I'm getting used to being back in Louisiana where where it rains in the sunshine. Uh, Thor and I went for a walk the other day and got caught in the rain. Got caught in a torrential rainstorm. And in the midst of the rainstorm, I look up and I'm like, the sun is out. And he, of course, we found the first tree and he was like getting over by the, uh, what's the big part of a tree called? I've gone blank. But um, uh, uh, he wants to get over by under the tree because, because you know, there's some protection from underneath uh, in a tree. So the best, but the best plot during the sun also is shade. Um, when I was in McHenry, Thor could walk. 11 miles and um, we would walk into Wisconsin, the holy uh, place and turn around um, and come back. Um, and he would do that without, without stopping. I mean, the only time we would stop would be to trunk. Thank you. Thank you guys. Um, the only time we would stop would be for him to drink some water. Well, unless I passed shade and then I would find myself yanking and tugging on this dog who had laid down here Look at all the trunks. Thank you. Um, uh, um, yeah, I, I, I told him when the rain hit, I was like, uh, uh, look, dude, you need to, uh, this isn't helpful. We're, uh, you're, you may be, and he's just sitting there in the, in the water. But in the, in the sunlight, um, he, uh, in Louisiana, it is so hot here that after about a mile and a half, he has to, he, he wants to stop and he will, he will stop in any shade. And, and it, it got so bad when we were walking, let's see, we walked, uh, during COVID, we were walking about six miles. 
he would stop and act like he was going to the bathroom. And I'm sitting there looking at him. I'm like, dude, you're not actually going to the bathroom. He's like, don't look at me. I'm really doing it. Um, but he was, he was just trying to get in the shade. So you can't beat like stay under my tree is like, um, is like go to the coolest place that we have. Okay. In the shade. All right. So, so like, um, uh, you know, refresh yourself, um, a little water, wash your, let me wash your feet, rest yourself under a tree while, while I bring you a little bit of bread, um, you may refresh yourself. And after you may pass, um, since you have come to your ser- my, your servant, um, and they say, you know, do what you've said. So the, the three stop and visit with Abram, Abraham a little bit. I'm sorry, he's Abraham now. So when he was Abram, I called him Abraham. And now that he's Abraham, I finally gotten on board with calling him. Um, uh, yeah, right, right. He, and he, Grace, he's like, lean, he's like doing his little, his potty pose. And I'm like, Dude, you are not. I'm sitting here looking at you just because it's shade. You know, I mean, he and, and we were there for about a minute for nothing where he was just sort of resting. But when it's 92 and at like six to night, which is our usual walk, would be our usual walk time, it's going to be um, 92. So, uh, yeah, what a what a hot mess. Get it. Boom. Boom. All right. Um, verse six. So Abraham goes quickly in, went, went quickly into the tent to Sarah and said, uh, quick, three measures of fl- fl- uh, flour, knead it and make cakes. That's a lot. Um, I do not know what a sa'ah is, but I know from the Septuagint that it's a measure. So uh, three measures of fine flour. That's that's a lot. Those are big cakes. Abraham goes southern, you know, um, and wants to feed him. A Jewish, good Jewish mom wants to feed, you know, my mom. You know, Six percent. You know, if you t- my mom's probably 12 percent. Um, and so, you know, always want to make feed to strangers. Abraham ran. There's more running. To the herd, to to a uh, uh, to a uh, uh, calf, uh, cow tender and good. I gave it to the young man who prepared it quickly. The young man is his slave or servant, uh, however you want to do it. He took curds and milk, in Wisconsin there, and the calf that he had prepared, and he set it before them, and he stood by them under the tree while they ate. So, there's Abram, Abraham waiting on them. Um, yeah, Terry Lynn, there you go. Duck into the store and pretend like I'm shopping to warm up. That's, that's spectacular. The opposite in the Yankee land. I think the Northerners handle heat and handle cold the way the Southerners do. That's what I learned from, learn from being up there. Um, um, which was to, um, which was just not go out. Southerners don't go out unless they have to in the summer. And uh, Northerners don't go out unless they have to in the winter. Their Christmas lights stay up for months sometimes. The first warm day is when everybody's out. Hey, Sue, good to see you. Uh, yeah, this this probably um, took a long time, You'll Will. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Yeah, no, Siri, we're good. Um, so this was all hurried because they didn't know. If he'd have known, he would have prepared in advance, but he didn't know, and so this is all hurried. Um, and and now we get to what's going on. Okay, now that everybody's been tended to in a way that's fitting for the ancients, um, where is Sarah, your wife? So, now we get to it. Um, he never said that. I mean, in, unless something happened in casual conversation, he never said that he had a wife named Sarah. And the and the new name, too, from the last chapter. Where's Sarah, your wife? It gets so hot down here, Felicity, that we could die. Um, and what I love about this is, um, well, she's in the tent. 
Okay, verse 10. The Lord said, now, now see, now, mm-hmm. We are messing around no more. This is the Lord. Shuv, I will return to you after this time next year. And Sarah, your wife, um, shall have a son. And then Sarah, she's at the, um, she's at, she's listening. She's, 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 um, she's got like the glass at the door. Uh, she's listening at the entrance of the tent behind him. So he's at the door. He, I'm sorry. He's with the, under the tree talking to the Lord and the two angels. And Sarah is like, just spectacular. I love it. So very real. You got visitors. So you okay there, Bob? Ooh, his back of his, his neck is up. Ooh, he's in, 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 in true form. He's working. We're shaking it off. Um, now Sarah and Abraham were old. And I love this. The um, uh, They were advanced in years. Uh, the way the Hebrew says it uh, is that um, um, Sarah and Abraham were old in those days. Um they were, uh, and, and, and the way, <laughs> um, what goes on with women had stopped being with Sarah. And there you go. So, um, yeah, she's too old to have little ones. Okay, so now we've got it set up. Angels in the Lord outside under a tree eating calf, cheese. It's a regular Wisconsin feast. And um, curds. Uh, Sarah's like sort of listening in because they're talking about her. Yeah, true, Judy. But like the life expectancies are dropping, 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 dropping. And at this point, clearly, she doesn't believe she can have any more kids. And so um, Sarah Yitzhak, she, she laughs. She Isaacs to herself, within herself. Um, after, uh, now, uh, now that I'm worn out or after I'm worn out, my Lord and my Lord is old. She calls, she calls, uh, Abraham, I deny my Lord, my redeemer. Um, uh, this word right here, which I'm going to just simply, um, give you the definition of now that, now that I'm old, that my master's is old. Um, shall I have, um, Shall I have afternoon delight? Yeah. So now, now that now that nothing works, and there are no pills to help things work, am I gonna? Am I gonna? Are, are we gonna have? Are, are we? Are, are we gonna have like Discovery Channel stuff? Yeah. Um. Which. Again, if you're like, I'm gonna read the Holy Book of the Christians. And you get to this point, you're like, okay, okay. Uh, she really, uh, okay, okay. Um, yeah. So, so 
she's like, look, am I going to, are we going to, I mean, I mean, seriously. And she laughs and she laughs at God. Um, because it's funny. She's old and yeah, funny. Yahweh said to Abraham, uh, uh, why did Sarah Isaac, when I said, um, she will indeed, indeed bear a child now that I'm old. Uh, why did Sarah laugh and say, why shall I, shall I bear a child now that I'm old? There you go. Um, amongst other things. So, so like what I love about this is, is, um, uh, is that, um, is it, she's, uh, as Sandra's right on this, it, her, her take on this is like, look, I'm worn out and he's old and it ain't going to be my fault that we're not going to be able to do this. Um, uh, and, but like, it's funny. It's funny. And, uh, probably, uh, Jewish culture is a little bit more like open about that. These whole con conversations in the West because of stuff like this. I'm only 6% comfortable with this. I'm a, uh, uh, ancestor.com says I'm 3% Mediterranean Jew plus or minus 3%. So that makes me 6%. Tomorrow you get uh, Monday you get Goodman who's a hundred percent Jew. Um, have fun with that. Uh, Pastor Yeager, I, 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 everyone's like dried up fruit. Thank you. All right. Um, so like, why did Arab, why did Sarah laugh and say, "Shall I bear a child in my when I, now that I'm old? Is anything too hard for God?" And this is very important um, because it's not. Um, I, I want you to catch this um, because um, it's not anything. This is very, very similar to another sentence um, from an angel to a virgin. Um, and we always translate it like, Nothing is impossible with God. Um, the reason why that is wrong in Luke is because that's not what, what the angel says. The angel says the same thing he, there as he says here. For no words are impossible with God. Rhema, davar, words. You see, God gives words. And those words make things happen. And he doesn't go... Um, He doesn't go abstract with his promises. No, he he gives words. So I want you to hold on to this word. See, this is the Septuagint. Um, may adunatai peratotheu rema. All right? So I want you to hold that sentence, and we'll go look at Luke. Why not? I am your father, Luke. No, um... Greetings, O favor one. Do not be afraid, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive and, and your woman bear a son. You call, should call his name Jesus. Um, I get this feeling that Cindy's mocking me. I, my six percent. Um, 34, how will this be? The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. The child born inside of you will be called the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth's already, you know, she's got. And 37. Okay, here we go again. Hauk adunatesai peratutheopan rema. For no words will be impossible 
with God. All words are not impossible with God. Double negative for emphasis. So these two things should, um, if you're reading Luke and you hear that, you're like, oh, I've heard this language before with Sarah. And um, you can see it in the Latin too. Um, Eke Aquila Domine, she says, um, uh, Behold, I am the Lord's servant, fiat mihi secundum verbum tuum. Um, uh, let it be done to me according to your verbum, your words. And and the, the angel had said, um, Non erit impossibile apud, um, uh, no, again, omni verum. No words are impossible um, with God. Uh, don't, don't abstract it. All things are possible with God. God deals with you with words. He gives you promises. And those words are possible with him. Uh, for, um, for Mary, the Blessed Virgin. For Sarah. Um, those words are possible with God. So don't go, don't go abstract. Is anything impossible with the Lord? Anything hard for God? Um, no. He says, um, Yahweh says uh, to Abram, why'd she laugh and say, shall I bear a child in the old age? Um, uh, are any words impossible for the Lord? At the appointed time, I shall return to you about this time next year, and Sarah shall have a son. She's going to have a son. So, again, don't abstract this. Uh, like, nothing is impossible with God. No, when God speaks, locate it in his word. Don't locate it in like, oh, God can do anything. No, where there's a word, where there's a promise, that's where God acts. And so here he's like, Sarah's going to have, where's Sarah? Sarah's going to have a kid. Ha, 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 you so funny. You're so funny, God. You're a funny God, you. And she, Isaacs, she laughs. Sarah's going to have a son. And Sarah, who learned from her husband how to lie, uh, 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 no way. No way. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. No way. No way. I'm, I'm, what? What? I didn't, Yitzhak. What? And it's because she was afraid. And and God, and God's great. No ki za ha kat. Yeah, you did laugh. But you did laugh. Um, moving on, though, after that actor. So the men are sitting there, and they look down towards Sodom. And, 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 um, they, so they, they, they get up, it says they coom, um, and they set out from there and they look down towards Sodom. Yes, Judy, he speaks and he makes it happen. And that's where your comfort needs to be. Your comfort is in the Lord's verb. In his Lord's words, he speaks, and so it's true. Um, he says, he who believes and is baptized shall be saved. And you can stand before him on the last day and says, whoever believes and is baptized shall be saved. Um, uh, he says, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has life, and I will raise them up on the last day. Well, well I've eaten your flesh and drunk your blood. You say that you're going to raise me up on the last day, so do it, man. Uh, what is the word for uh, use for word in Greek and Hebrew? Okay, so um, Terry Lynn, there there are two words in Greek for word: rema and logos. 
Um, Logos is used primarily in the front end of John, but Logos can't carry, carry the freight of the Lord, and, and Rhema starts to take over. Um, Rhema is used in Luke 1, and Rhema is used in the Septuagint here. Logos carries all of that Greek philosophical baggage, which is what John is after. The Hebrew word is davar, um, which is which is the same, which is similar to the word to speak. Um, Latin verbum. Um, a lot of times these um, these languages will have a catch-all phrase for word matter thing. Um, and Hebrews catch-all phrase is davar, word matter thing. Greeks is remata, word matter thing. Latin is race. Now, but you can tell that something's going on here because, um, uh, you know, I want the Vulgate. Um, because you, you, you get the idea that um, this is specifically words. Um, Um, hold on, let me look. Uh, 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 excuse me. 14. Um, um, he, I want you to, I, I want, I want to drag you away from, 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 from sort of, um, um, uh, abstract to concrete. We want to go to concrete. We want to go to concrete. We're going to end up in concrete. So um, while Ramata can Rema can mean, you know, word matter thing, like race can mean word matter thing in Latin, and Davar can mean word matter thing, uh, here the Lord is speaking. And so I, it's properly translated words. Um, so I hope that helps. Back to what's going on here. We're going to hear a conversation with God about what God, um, not end up concrete, located, Cheryl, not in concrete, like, um, <laughs> like when we want to get rid of somebody, we. We give them uh, concrete shoes. Uh, no, concrete as, as opposed to abstract. People love to talk about God in the abstract. Uh, they don't like to talk about God in the concrete. Jesus, for me, on the cross. They like to talk about God way up there. And God isn't way up there. He has taken on flesh and become man. God is not way up there in these in, in this in this this pericope, he's right down to earth, sitting under the tree. And now he's headed towards Sodom, talking to himself. Talk amongst yourselves. He's talking amongst himself. 17. Shall I, shall I, um, shall I crypto? Shall I encrypt? Shall I, uh, the Hebrew word is, 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 Shall I um, cover up from Abraham what I'm going to do? But Abraham, uh, Abraham shall surely become, shall surely, he's going to, going to become a great nation and a mighty nation. Is that great word? He's, he's going to be great and he's going to be mighty, numerous. Shall not all the nations of the earth bless him or be blessed in him? I've chosen him. That now, so this is important to understand what's going on with Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. Um, what's going on with Sodom and Gomorrah is going to be a, a children's sermon. It's going to be, um, it's going to be a teaching moment, uh, Yahweh style. Okay. Yeah, it was a bad, 
Godfather accent. <laughs> Having a sore finger day, friends. Um, and the Advil didn't help. Uh, I've chosen him that that he might um, order his children. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I do not have uh, COVID. I just had a uh, <clears throat> just <clears throat> spit down my own throat. That's that's fun. And his house after him to Shamar uh, to to guard the Derek the way of the Lord by doing a sign Zadik and Mishpat. Uh, uh, Zadik, righteousness. Mishpat, justice. Like Superman. I know a little bit about truth, but I'm a big fan of justice. Um, in, in, so, uh, this, what is about to happen to Sodom is a living children's sermon or a dying one ab about walking in the way of righteousness and justice. So that the Lord may come to Abraham in the way that he has davarred to him, that he has spoken to him, that he's promised to him. So, like, am I gonna am I gonna hide what I'm gonna do? Hey Naomi, am I gonna hide what I do from Abraham? He's gonna be a great nation. And I've chosen him for to command his children and his household after him to guard my way, to guard the way of the Lord by doing what is Zadik Mishpat, uh, righteous and justice. Mishpat is judgment too. So that the Lord may so that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he's promised him, and even what he what he what he said to him. So the God's having a conversation with himself, referring to himself in a third person. Um, it's like a Trinitarian moment where we're going to watch God have a convo with himself. It's, 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 it's utterly amazing. And, and what he's doing is, I'm going to show him what I'm going to do because I'm going to save him. And Yahweh said, the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and their sin is heavy. Very heavy before me. I will go down there and and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna yara, I'm gonna see what they what their um, what's going on down there? Why the crying? Uh, what's going on with the, the 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 crying, which has come to me? And if not, I will know. So if the if the if the outcry is unwarranted, I'm gonna know. But if it is warranted, I am gonna know. So the men turned from there and went toward Sodom. But Abraham, oh my goodness. And we are going to, um, we are going to get, I, I could stop here and give this to um, uh, uh, Goodman, who looks like Howard Wallowitz. Try not to, while you're, while you're, um, while, while you're watching him, try not to think Big Bang Theory, Howie. All, all, all I need to do is hear his mother. Good man. Um, but uh, Abraham, Abraham stands before the Lord. Can you believe this? He stands in the face of the Lord. He stands in the face of the Lord. He gets up in God's face. Holy smokes. Literally. I'm not really sure Goodman's cooler. 
Erica. Um, I, 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 I love him. I love him. He is, he is, we have some of the best teachers. This is why you need to do the virtual conference. Some of the best teachers, give the link to the virtual conference. Some of the best teachers in our church body are teaching this and Goodman's one of them. He is absolutely amazing. And to add to that, Fisk and, um, uh, 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 Roseboro and Drew and Hull and all these amazing teachers. Amazing teachers. You got to register. Go to higherthings.org and register today. What an amazing 15 to 20 hours worth of content you're going to get. Just simply amazing. Abraham drew near and said, Will you sweep away the Zadik with the Rasha? Will you um will you uh sweep away the righteous with the wicked? Are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna rain on the just and the unjust? Yeah, I, you know, uh Job says he will. Abraham says he won't. And God would press, well, let's see what happens. Oh, you're God. I can't say anything to you. Can't fight God in taxes. Wrong answer. Abraham gets up in God's, um, um, gets up into God's grill. Can you get, can you, can you beat this? I mean, can you beat this? What What if they're 50 within the city? Will you sweep the thing under the... Will you sweep the thing? Will you spoil the thing? Will you destroy the, th the place and not spare 50 Zadik, 50 righteous folks who are in it? Far be it from you. Thor's working. To do to, 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 to do such a thing. Uh, to put the righteous to death alongside the Rasha, the evil. So that the righteous fare like the wicked. Far be it from you. Shall not the judge of all the earth do what is mishpat? Justice. You just talked about how you were going to do justice. So, and this is, oh, the Lord loves to be caught in his words like the Canaanite dog woman who catches Jesus in dogs, yes, but to the dogs go the crumbs. Here, you just were talking about mishpat. And, and judgment and being just and being right. And now you're going to like rain down fire on Sodom. What if there's 50 folks there? You gonna, you're going to blow 50 away with all the evil that's going on there? The Lord said, um, if I find 50 righteous, Zadik, in that city, I'll spare the whole place. La la call ha uh, makom the whole place. I will I, I I will spare the whole place for them for their sake. So Abraham steps in the way of God and saves fifty people, saves the town if fifty people that are righteous are there. Now remember. <laughs> Abraham knows one family is there. Who's there? Who's in Sodom? He knows a family that's in Sodom. He knows somebody is in Sodom. I'm going to let you figure out who it is and tell me. 
because they, they, they went different ways. And that guy went towards Sodom and, uh, and Gomorrah, and that guy got grabbed, and he had to go and grab uh, and go rescue him from the kings. It was like Game of Thrones, and he brought him back and left him there and went on his way. Lot's there, Cheryl, exactly. So he knows that Lot and his family is there. He knows it. And since he knows that Lot and there's, he is now protecting his kin folks. Before the God who's going to destroy the town as an object lesson to the kids, Abraham's kids, to you and me. Well, I don't believe in a God that, um, um, I don't believe in a God that will destroy a town. Well, he did that for me to teach us not to do evil. Just like you send your kids to your room. Same thing for God. 26. Behold, I have spoken, uh, uh, undertaken to speak to the Lord. I, who am... I think that's dust and earth. Suppose five of the 50 are missing. Will you destroy the whole city for lack of five? And he said, no, I, I will not destroy if it's 45 there. 29. Abraham uh, 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 negotiates God down. And, 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 and Grace, you are exactly right. Uh, behind this is not only does Abraham know that God is mishpat, that he, his judgment is zadik, righteous, he also knows from his great-great-great-great-grandfather that he saved eight people in a boat. There you go, Cindy. Hi, buddy. Good boy. You bring this to me? I'll trade you. You want a treat? Oh, I'll give you a treat for that. Thank you very much. Good boy. All right. Um, let not the Lord, let not the Lord, then he said, let not the Lord be um, uh, 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 angry, burn with anger against me. And Abraham, um, uh, so suppose 30. I will speak. Suppose 30 are found there. I wish y'all could see this. He is trying to get to his squeak toy a different way. He's on the other side of the table. Come here, boy. He's on the other side of the table trying to get to the squeak table from the other side. Um, behold, I've undertaken to speak to the Lord. Don't, don't get mad at me. Suppose 30 are found there. I will not do it for 30. Well, behold, I have undertaken to speak to the Lord. Suppose 20 are there for the sake of 20. I will not destroy. Destroy it. 32. Let not the Lord be angry with me. I will speak again, but just one more time. Suppose 10 are found there. I will not destroy it. And so Abraham went on his way. And when he had finished speaking to, I'm um, sorry, the Lord, Yahweh, went on his way. Um, when he had finished speaking words to Abraham, and Abraham returned to his place. He shoved to his place. I want you to think about this. This is what prayer is. This is what um, mercy is. 
This is what holding God to his promises are. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Come over here and grab this treat, buddy. Don't you want this treat? Oh, you want this treat, don't you? You want that treat? It's right there. You want that? It's right there. Look. It's right there. You want that? This is what holding God to his promises looks like. That's what it is. This is what it is. You're merciful. Be merciful. And Abraham doesn't play the very pious Christian thing. I don't like to ask for small things from God because God is so big. Now he gets up in there. Hey, uh, you were mishpotting um, and you was a deacon and you were talking about being a gracious God. So be a gracious God. 50? Okay, yeah, 50. I'll, I'll save the town. How about 45? I'll save. I'll, I'll, I'll do it for 45. 30? Yeah, I'll do it for 30. 20? I'll do it for 20. 10. Now, the sad thing is, God's not going to find 10 righteous people in there. But the conversation has him rescuing Lot. But look at the way God is. Merciful. God doesn't want to condemn people to hell. He doesn't. He doesn't want to destroy people. That's another thing to learn from this lesson. It's not that God is um, waiting. Come on over here, buddy. Like waiting to do bad things to bad people. He doesn't want to do bad things to bad people. He wants to save. So the idea, so um, back to my uh, four page single space letter about how I don't believe in a hell. I believe in a hell. I just don't want anybody going there. And I preach so that nobody will go there. But the idea, you're going to get crabby with me because I preach the gospel so sweetly that um, sinners might be saved. This is my shock face. Who wants somebody to go to hell? God doesn't. So why should you? Oh, hell's great for somebody else. Oh, yeah, really? Okay. What if there's someone else is you? Will you save the town for 50 people, God? Will you save it for 40? Will you save it for 30? Will you save it for 20? How about 10? Yeah, I'll save it for 10. So now the next chapter with Goodman, we just have to find 10 people. It's 10 people. Ten people. Because God is so merciful that he'll spare the whole place for ten people. Yes, Pastor Yeager, you were taught really well. This text brings us right to the cross where God dies for all people. He doesn't find ten in the world, so he dies one for all. One for all. And Jaeger's right. I believe God would have would have stopped, could have gone all the way down to one, my son. Because of Christ's sacrifice, all are saved. And all of this is a children's lesson for Abraham's descendants about how gracious and merciful God is. And how he doesn't want to judge. And he doesn't want to condemn. And he doesn't want to damn. Hey, can I have it? And now we have the gator. Next week, Monday, Pastor Harrison Goodman, he is amazing. And I can't wait to call him and tell him, you got Sodom and Gomorrah, buddy. <laughs> Monday, I'll be back with you on Tuesday. Same, uh, but he will be back with you on Monday. Same bad time, same bad channel. Have a great, 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 great weekend. In the Lord's words and promises, his word, he keeps his word all the way to the cross and he saves you. You can bank on it. You can count on it. He will save you. Borkart, Thor, have a great day. It's Goodman. There he is. <laughs>
Have a blessed day.